Hello everyone, it's great to see you guys again. Thank you very much for tuning in and welcome to Jung Heinrich's first ever virtual trade fair. And we're broadcasting live from the Jung Heinrich Training Center in Hamburg, Germany. Now, my name is Thomas, and in this particular video, we want to talk about Jung Heinrich Energy Consulting and Jung Heinrich Energy Solutions. Now, as you probably noticed, I am standing right in front of two Jung Heinrich new concept trucks. The first one is the ETV 216i. It's actually the first full size truck that was introduced in 2018, featuring a fully integrated lithium ion battery. And the second truck to my right is the ERC 216zi, which was just recently introduced to the public in 2019. It was at last year at Logimat to be exact. Now, since we want to talk about energy solutions, we also need to understand the benefits, but also some of the challenges that come along with this new battery type, or I should say fairly new battery type. And therefore, I'm very happy to talk to Jung Heinrich expert Florian Kraus. Welcome on board. Hello, Thomas. Thank you. Good to see you, Florian. Now, first of all, to get this whole thing started, maybe you can give us a nice and crisp introduction on the subject. What makes Jung Heinrich a pioneer in the field of innovative electrification? Yeah, there are two major points. One is our experience in electric uh, in trucks in general. So we are more than 65 years uh, in that field of pushing the limits of electrified trucks. And the second one basically is uh, our new truck generation, as you already mentioned, uh, 2018, we, we pushed these two trucks into the market. Um, so all in all, we have about 50,000 trucks based on lithium ion in the market, which gives us a long track record and um, a lot of experience in uh, developing new trucks in that field. Now, what would you say are the particular benefits of lithium ion batteries, maybe also over lead acid, the yeah. way we're still seeing them in many warehouses nowadays all around the globe? One game changer is integrating the lithium ion uh, battery into the truck and not having the DIN battery compartment anymore. So back in the past, um, you had to design your truck around this DIN battery compartment, which uh, basically gave you few uh, variables to, to tweak uh, how your design could look like. Mm -hmm. Now you're completely free and actually this is more a customer or user focused way of designing a truck. Um, so this is one major game changer, but also um, a lot of advantages lay in the technology itself. So it's maintenance free technology. You can do intermediate or opportunity charging. You don't have gases. You have constant power over your shift. So all of this and something we believe will be uh, pushing in the next year is the CO2 emission reduction. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very good point. Well, first of all, I guess one needs to say that it pretty much handles like a smartphone because you can just plug it in, you can fast and immediate charge, for instance. Uh, yes. Like you said, you don't need an extra room, there's no maintenance, nothing like that. And once again, the design also speaks for itself. Now, the second thing you just mentioned was uh, CO2 emissions. A lot of companies are now struggling these days and kind of asking themselves, okay, how am I going to cut down on those emissions? And lithium ion actually helps on that. How, how so? Yes, we have done an internal um, assessment and comparing lead acid truck with the lithium ion based truck. And the result was we have 21% reduction of CO2 emissions. Mm -hmm. So this is a major step um, and it's due to just um, the efficiency increase you have in the whole system coming from the charger but also transferring the energy within the truck. Um, and this is um, or will be a major push into the right direction I think. Mm -hmm. Compared to an IC truck, so um, a truck where you were not electrified, basically uh, this is 50%. And this is all due to um, the reduction of CO2 emissions during use phase. So when you look at uh, the beginning or the, the start of life until the end of life of a truck, um, it's the use phase where uh, the impact is um, most beneficial. Now, despite all these benefits, there are of course also some challenges that come along with the new technology, with, this, uh, with these uh, lithium ion batteries in that case. What are those challenges? What are we talking about? Yeah, well, these challenges are basically the ones we are widely discussing in electrifying mobility in general. So, um, if you want to use, for example, um, fast charging, your infrastructure has to be able to do the fast charging. So, there have to be cables in place to actually push the energy uh, through the cables into your truck. Mm -hmm. And looking at the other end of the cable, well, there also has to be a grid connection which is sufficient to um, be able to basically um, charge your truck fast enough. Yeah. 
especially talking about fleets, this becomes uh, a topic where you have to be very aware of. Mm -hmm. So that also means that a professional energy management in the warehouse is becoming increasingly important. Now, together with your team, you developed a so-called five-step program. I know it sounds strange, but it actually is. So what are those five steps that you would go through with your customer to finally reach a warehouse that is perfectly managed energy-wise? Yeah, it's, it's not rocket science. It's five, called five steps, but it's uh, pretty simple what you do there. And it's not only our team internally here in Hamburg, but it's a network of energy experts out there in the world who is applying this uh, method. So what we do is basically we uh, define the goals together with the customer. So if the goal is changing the complete fleet over to lithium ion, mm -hmm. then we define that. Then you have certain um, results from this. So you have to assess your your infrastructure in place mm -hmm. and uh, match that with the goal you are seeking to um, fulfill. Mm -hmm. And so these are steps one and two, and basically you come out with a concept. This concept is then implemented, um, and after that you basically check if the concept is successful in reaching that goal. Mm -hmm. Everything is under the umbrella of doing cost-effective solutions. Mm -hmm. So you want to increase your efficiency in your business. That's what we all strive for. Yeah. So changing processes in the warehouse sounds like the cheapest solution to me, but this is not always possible. And whenever you cannot change those processes, like what could, what could be such a process change? What would you do then? Yeah, what we always do is because it's the cheapest version is uh, changing the process. First, you need to know the process. So that's uh, also part of, of this method to actually map the processes. Then uh, building a concept of how to change these processes. And sometimes it's just uh, mapping down your shifts and your breaks in your shift and you have to maybe switch some shifts here and there, depending on your local situation. Mm -hmm. Second would be looking into hardware solutions, for example, load management. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just possible to have one uh, station, charging station, which is connected to a load management, and suddenly you don't have any, any hurdles or uh, challenges anymore. Yeah. Um, and you can go further in spending money on hardware is um, pushing, for example, for an energy storage system. Uh, that would be the, the uh, second uh, expensive uh, solution. Mm -hmm. And in the end, there is changing your grid infrastructure, yeah. uh, which we don't prefer to do because it's mostly a long process um, of, of getting to uh, a solution in the end there. Mm -hmm. Now, the good thing is we actually have such an energy storage on site, and maybe we should just have a quick look. So this is, um, here we see a, is this an energy rack? Is that what you would call it? Well, it's, it's basically a rack um, with a lot of stationary uh, energy storages or batteries, we mm -hmm. call them. So, and this is something new we just introduced to the market. So, Young Energy is the first and only one offering um, a package where we, we put into a, um, a local storage system. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it does is pretty simple. It's, it's an energy pool. You pool energy in there um, for the moments where you need more energy than your infrastructure can provide. Mm -hmm. So may it be that the cables and plugs in the warehouse are not sufficient enough to, to give enough energy, or may it be that the grid connection is not sufficient enough, um, or and that's something very interesting a lot of customers are asking for, you want to include other businesses uh, into your core business. For example, you have a PV a photovoltaic uh, um, station on your rooftop and you want to use this power more and more um, internally instead of pushing that into the grid. Mm -hmm. um, you can charge this stationary battery um, with the solar energy basically. Yeah, and the beauty about this is that it's highly scalable because we see all these different units here sitting in that rack. So you could pretty much scale this to any size for any warehouse? Right. It starts somewhere around uh, 30 kilowatt hours and co can go up to megawatt hour, hour sizes. So basically there's no limit in how you stack these uh, um, racks together. Yeah. Well, very impressive. Well, last but not least, would you maybe have a recent practical example from a customer who consulted you and where he actually found the perfect uh, energy solution for his warehouse? Yes, there was um, one logistics uh, supplier in Netherlands where we actually um, implemented a full solution. Uh, we changed over the complete fleet into the ETV 269 we have in the background. So it was a larger fleet and um, the infrastructure in place was not able to provide enough energy to get the process done with uh, lithium-ion based trucks. So we also included energy storages like this one 
And on top, there was a rooftop uh, with solar PV. So you uh, had a full solution um, all integrated into one. And uh, on top, uh, there was basically a contractor. Um, so we did not sell a solution, but we leased a solution to okay. that um, customer. Okay. So bottom line is, Jung Heinrich has a solution for any challenge or even combination of challenges for your customers. Yes, we do. Thank you very much, Florian, for joining us today and thank you for sharing all this information with thank us. You. Now, if you guys have any further questions now regarding Jung Heinrich Energy Solutions, you could either talk to your Jung Heinrich representative and he would then even hook you up with a Jung Heinrich Energy Specialist if required. Or you may also post your questions in the chat window and uh, you'll be in the chat actually later on, right? Yes, I do. While the fair is taken up. Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much for joining then. Have a beautiful afternoon and I'm sure I'm going to see you guys again with another interesting topic in the warehouse. Thank you very much. Thank you.